Yes, it's a soap bubble. Yes, it's a star. But it looks to me like it is the world's largest magic lantern that will transport us to amazing places simply by getting together with a couple of strangers and walking into a dark room and sharing the experience. I'm very moved to be able to say to you, finally, at last, boy howdy hey, <laughs> welcome to the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. We've kept the, the candle burning uh, for, tw for 92 years, yeah, and we look you know, pretty good for, for, for that length of time. <laughs> um, uh, no, we're, we're thrilled and excited, and we've weathered a lot of vicissitudes to get here, but uh, it's time, it's time. The way the galleries are formatted, where you're turning corners and you're entering new experiences at every time, there's nothing overly linear uh, about this museum. Every gallery is a new adventure, and in that sense, it's almost like the cutting to the next scene of a movie. You have no idea what's coming up, uh, and there's something essentially filmic about the experience of walking through each floor. Cinephiles will delight in seeing Rosebud from Citizen Kane, um, uh, and that was a particular favorite of mine. But I think when you go into our costume exhibit and you see the costumes from The Wiz, from that great floral in masterpiece from Midsommar, Ari Aster's film, uh, I think even if you haven't seen the movies, you would be dazzled by Jeff the Bridges creativity. Rogue. Yes, from the dude. <laughs> I'm in, invested in all the artifacts. I love them all. But when I, as David said, turned the corner and saw the drawings that Wes Anderson had done for Fantastic Mr. Fox and the, and the puppets that he had made, it's one of my son's very favorite films. And so I think everyone will have that opportunity in this museum to come across something that they have an emotional attachment to. Mm -hmm.